hello and welcome back once again to the GeForce IT Service Academy. This is the lesson 12 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. In our previous lesson, we learned how to set up the student enrollment data for MS information. We learned how to create that table like this. This was the table that we we learned in our previous lesson so in this lesson we are going to learn how to create or design teachers data table for emis information so please make sure that you watch this video from the beginning to the end make sure that you subscribe to the channel submit your assignments to, to the numbers appearing on your screens submit your assignments to the numbers appearing on your screen so without wasting much time let's just dive into this lesson by clicking on the plus sign here let's click on this plus sign here to have our new sheet that we will use to design the teachers data table for emis information all right so let's quickly double tap on this one to rename it so teachers data for emis information so let's just name it T D F then MS information so MS info like this so you hit enter then you right click then we go to tab color to give it a nice color like this so before we start designing our table before we start creating this MS data table let's quickly go to view click on view let's go to page layout then after that we go to page layout at the top like this then we come to orientation then we change it to landscape like this please let me do it again so you go to view like this you click on page layout here then you go to this page layout here like this you click on it then you come to orientation it will be on portrait so you change it to landscape like this then we are good to go so let's just start creating uh, our form let's just start creating this table let's begin to design this emis information table for teachers without any stress and without any problem so the first thing that we are going to do is to give it a name so staff list for emis data staff list for emis data so let's just give it that name staff list so staff list for emis data like that so we have it like that so let's just select everything here let's just select everything like this to the last end okay so please let's undo that action let's leave five lines then we start from here let's just start from here by entering the region of the school then the district district of the school district then we have the circuit the circuit in which the school is located then the name of the school itself okay so after that we leave one row let's leave one row then we begin to enter the details of the teachers in the school so id number then we move to name the name of the teacher then we move to ntc number or registered number so we shot this one at this number then we move to the next thing that is going to be the staff id so staff id like this then to rank the rank of the teacher then qualification 
qualification of the teacher so we shot that one to wow then the next thing that we are going to enter is the social security farm number the SNIT number like this then we go to first appointment first appointment like that then we move to the next thing that is going to be the signature and that will be the last thing that will enter into the system here so the signature of the teacher so let's quickly adjust the various cells here let's adjust the columns here nicely the name we have to adjust it. then the ntc or registered number let's give it enough space then uh, staff id i think the space here is okay for that then the rank rank here then uh, the snit number we need to give it enough space so let's reduce the space here for this one so let's come to the top here to reduce it a little bit then this one to let's try to reduce it a little bit then the staff id the rank let's try to reduce it a little bit okay so let's move this one let's try to expand this a little bit okay so it is entering another thing so let's bring it back so let's try to short this one so date of first app like this so we have it there nicely so let let's try to uh, bring this one back let's try to bring it back okay so let's try to bring it back let's bring this one to back good i think our table is taking a nice shape now okay so i think we are good to go now let's select all let's select all from here to this side then we go to the home tab to do the necessary formatting so times new roman we give it bold we center everything then we increase the font size i think uh, this is cool i think this is cool let's reduce it small okay so we have it there so let's just hit enter on the computer keyboard okay so let's come to this side you select this one you press control on the keyboard and hold like this then you select everything here select everything here good so let's go to the home tab and give it a nice font style we bold it we increase the font size to 12 then we align left like this i think our form is having some nice shape now okay so the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, quickly merge all these cells here we have to merge the cells here so let's try to do some adjustment here okay okay so you select all like this up to this stage then you merge and center like this then we come to this one select all like this sorry let's redo it you select all like this to this side then you merge and center this one too you select all like this then you merge and center select this one like this then merge and center good okay now let's select all like this you press and you press control on the keyboard and hold it to select everything here 
then let's go to the home tab then let's change the font style to times new roman then let's bold it let's center everything here then let's increase the font uh, size to 12 let's increase the font size to 12 okay so let's just hit enter on the computer keyboard so the next thing that we are going to do is to give it a heading so let's give it a heading so we are starting from this side here to the other side so staff list for MS data staff list for MS data good so we have a nice the staff list for MS data so now let's select all let's select all like this to this side then we go to the home tab then we merge and center this one like this then we come to this side then let's go to this side to change the font style let's change the font style to times new roman then we bold it then let's increase the font size a little bit so let's increase it like that then you press enter now let's select all like this let's go to the home tab once again let's give it some background color then let's come to the test uh, this thing here let's give it some white now let's go back to this one let's do some changes here so you press and hold control on the keyboard the control key you hold it on the keyboard you select all this let's go and change the test color to black let's change the test color here to black if not when we type something it will not appear so this one when you type something now you can see it you come to this side you try to type something you can see it then you come to this one to you try to type oh it is appearing we have everything here let's check this one too it's also appearing okay now in our previous lessons we we said we have uh 200 teachers in our school we have 200 teachers in our school so we have to uh select from here up to that side but please don't forget that we already use 10 rows here so let's add the 10 to 200 so we are going to 210 please let's do that if not we will face challenges when we begin to use our system we will face challenges when we begin to use our school management system so the 10 that we used here we are going to add it to the 200 at the last and making 210 okay so let's select from here then we move to that side let's move to 210 like this so let's go to the home tab let's go to uh, font style let's change it to times new roman let's give it bold then let's increase it to 12 let's center everything here then let's give it all bodies let's give it all bodies so we have our form here we have our table here the teachers emis data table we have it here nicely so i think we are done with this lesson to like joke like play but let's come back to this side again let's select all let's include the last one there then let's go to background color then we have it there so i think we have to merge and center again so let's merge and center again so we have our table here up and running without 
any stress and without any problem i think we, we have everything here working perfectly so till our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to share the video with your friends don't forget to subscribe subscribe to the channel because we are going to upload more important videos onto this channel and we want everybody to benefit from these videos as you are also benefit from them so please don't be too selfish try to share these videos with your friends to also benefit from us so thank you very much for watching this video make sure that you do your assignment and submit them to the numbers appearing on your screens so let's meet in our next lesson thank you very much mm -hmm.